Hi everybody, my name is Manor and welcome back to Page Turners, which is our diverse book club geared towards young adults and teens. Today we'll be talking about the book Let's Talk About Love by Claire Can. But before we get started, I'm going to list some content and trigger warnings for you right over here. And I will say that this video will most likely contain spoilers, so if you do not want spoilers, now's your chance to click off the video. Okay, let's get started. So Let's Talk About Love focuses on our 19-year-old protagonist, Alice Johnson. She comes from a very well-off family and everyone's a lawyer and she's realizing that she doesn't want to do that, so she's trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. She also works at the county library in the meantime and she lives with her two best friends Feeney and Ryan. Alice identifies as asexual and while she knows that about herself she kind of has a hard time saying the word asexual itself throughout the book and for those of you who may not know asexuality is essentially the lack of sexual attraction to others. It is a spectrum so there are a lot of sub identities underneath the asexuality umbrella. One of the things I really liked about this book is the fact that Alice goes to therapy or counseling, whatever you want to call it, to figure out her sexuality and what that means for her and in her relationships because I feel like a lot of YA novels don't really focus on therapy or bring that up in books that are geared towards, you know, younger adults because it's important to destigmatize that and mental health, especially in relation to sexuality. And so because Alice is asexual, she doesn't have the best luck in the love department and she's only had two previous relationships, both of them have not ended well because of the fact that she's ace. But as any good YA novel does, the love interest comes in to shake things up. Enter Takumi. He starts working at the library with Alice. Alice has this thing called the cutie code which is where she ranks things that are aesthetically pleasing to her, whether it's a person, a thing, an animal, whatever whatever it is. It has a ranking and everything is assigned a color. And Takumi comes in and completely breaks the, the cutie code apart. He comes in at a code black. And I think the highest we go in the book from what I could remember is a code red. But Takumi is really sweet and understanding and really patient with Alice while she's trying to figure out her feelings and navigate them, especially towards him. So naturally, they end up spending a lot of time together. They end up working a lot of shifts together and they end up hanging out a lot outside of work as well. And they have so many cute moments in the book that I just love them so much. Like she takes care of him when he's sick. He'll even come to work early just so that they can eat like lunch or dinner together. Ultimately, Alice kind of has a problem with communication in the book and she has a hard time talking to people and trying to tell them how she feels about certain things, whether it's with her parents and trying to tell them that she doesn't want to do law school anymore. She actually wants to study interior design. She has to try to convince them to let her do that. Alice also struggles to talk to Takumi about how she feels about him, about her asexuality, because Takumi is not ace. And they have a really good talk about it too. It's really sweet and understanding and adorable. <laughs> and when we're at the epilogue, it's seven months later. So Takumi and Alice have been together for seven months and their relationship is going swimmingly well and it's really exciting because they're super cute together and I love them so much. <laughs> Honestly this is probably one of my all-time favorite books for sure. I also think this book is really great representation for the ace community because of the fact that the main character is ace and she's a woman of color which is even better. I think the YA space doesn't have a lot of representation when it comes to the ace community so I think this is a really good start. I hope y'all consider checking this one out and reading it and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I hope you learned something new about the LGBTQIA plus community because October is LGBT History Month and I'll see you guys next time.